So here in the last problem, we're looking at the relationship between area and radius for a circle. So they tell us the area is 50. They want to know what is the radius. So take our area, which is pi r squared, set it equal 50, and then solve for your radius. So we first want to divide that pi off both sides. And that will leave us with r squared on the left, pi's cancel, and 50 divided by pi on the right. And then take square roots on both sides, undo that square. So your r is going to be square root of 50 over pi. And then go ahead and use several decimal places there, 3.14159 unless you have pi button on your calculator. And I got approximately 3.99 inches to two decimal places. And now they want to ask us if area doubles, does radius double? Okay, well, if area doubled from 50, it'd be 100. And let's see if radius doubles. Just solve this for r again. So divide by pi on both sides, so we get uh, r squared is 100 over pi, and then take square roots. So then your r is going to be square root 100 over pi. And again, use several decimal places. And when I did, I got 5.64. So no, it did not double. It'd have to go up to almost eight. And the reason it didn't double is because when we doubled the area, uh, the number that was doubling was underneath the square root. So if the number doubling was outside the square root, then we'd be okay. So it's because of that square in there. So if it was not a square, if it was just a linear equation, then when the area doubled, the um, the other dimension would also double.